Hey, this is Julie with That Library Girl. Someone in our group asked me how to take those bulletin board letters that I taught you about on the last video and make them look like they're filled with digital paper. So this is what you do. First of all, think about your bulletin board and the elements that you're going to put on it, what shapes and colors you're going to use, what textures might make it pop, and then go to TPT and look for some digital paper. If you type in digital paper freebie into the search bar, you may come up with a bargain. This one is a set by Rainbow Sprinkle Studio, and it has some beautiful, vibrant, summery colors, but there are literally hundreds of packs so get one download for free or pay for something that you just fell in love with and you're going to save it to your desktop so it'll be easy to get to in a minute now these are the letters that i showed you how to make in the last video to be able to fill those insides in with that digital paper you're going to highlight and then right click go to format text effects just like we did in the last video make sure that text options is in that dark bold print choose the first option and that's going to open up some text field decisions for you you're going to want to go down here to picture or texture fill and that's going to let you um, search for your picture source so we saved it on the desktop so we're going to click that insert button and we're going to go to our desktop um, my desktop is a wreck, but I have a folder that's got lots of swatches in it from different things that I'm working on. And I'm going to find a digital paper that would look pretty with these flowers. How about this one? Perfect. All right. There you've got it. Perfect letters that match and look like you paid big money for them, but you made them yourself. All right. If you have any more questions for me, please drop a comment down in the thread and I will try to make another little video for you. Have a great day.